Over the years since 1962 when he first came out here, he was on his honeymoon with Barbara, his good wife, when I first sketched him. And we found a, a friendship. When I got my order to Australia, this wonderful man sent me a congratulation letter to the effect that I'd been honoured by the government. This sketch is when, first time I'd seen him with a cap. Jack, if you remember, or those of the golfers were recalled, he never wore a cap in all the years. Maybe because of the sun down here and this threat of cancer of the skin. And this is when he played down here as the captain of the President's Cup when the international team beat his. I did a funny cartoon on it for the Greek newspaper uh, where our boy sunk him. Now this is Jack Nicholas in colour when he was a tubby boy, 1962, signed 62, and it's in colour of course, and uh, this is the one I'm very pleased with. It caught Jack as he was those days. As he got older of course, he became a little different, as you can see from the previous cartoon. This is Gary Player, and all those signatures around there are every signature of, of every competing team. I think it was about 30 teams. It was called in the Canada Cup. And uh, how I got them, it's a story. But anyhow, there's Gary Player, one of the greats of golf. He's proved himself on the records established up with the lights of Jack Nicholas. <coughs> this is one of Gene Sarris, one of the greats that came to Australia. I did a number of sketches there, but I lost them all. So I did this drawing from what I remembered of him. And uh, uh, Jeff Wagner, the professional golfer at St Michael's Golf Club, who is a member there as an amateur, played in his event, the Gene Saracen event in America about three or four years ago. He took this original drawing over and, and he signed it. Unfortunately, sadness, this wonderful man who was the birth of one of the early golfers has passed away. There's another one, of course, of Jack. There. So each year they come in. I've done, I suppose, six or so of Jack in character. Each year he signs it and he puts the ear on it. So this is possibly, you can imagine what, what every eager buyers would love to be able to get their fingers on a drawing like this in America. I only hope that we might be able to sell this collection in America because there's, there's, no, there's not the money in this country anyhow. And I don't think it's got the interest either, unfortunately. So a lot of this work, well, will be lost to Australia. Maybe I'll have a few dollars and uh, enjoy myself. Now here's another man who's done one. Five British Opens. Peter Thompson. Peter Thompson is one of the greats of Australian golf. He's an administrator now, a commentator, a journalist, and uh, his point of view of golf is well respected because he knows golf and he knows what should be done. Peter is a great bloke. I've known Peter over the years, and I think Peter, <laughs> they made a joke of this caricature of him over, over TV. Steve Elkinden, one of our greats, who's won many events in America, went over there as a young man at the university and developed his golf. Unfortunately, he gets this hay fever with the grass that grows around, affects him, and he's had to pull out and over the last year or two out of some of the events. But I see him there, he's had a good second round, so I don't know what his third round golf was. I haven't heard, heard the news as yet. But that is Steve when he won the Australian Open. Here's our Spanish looking boy. Roger David. So that's one of the ones I like. It's, uh, it's, uh, he's been a great golfer and a great person. He's loved by all golfers in Australia. There's another great golfer. I think he's won every, I don't know how many uh, British Opens he's won. Have I got it written down there? But uh, this is when he came out to Australia, one of those sketches I did of uh, Tom Watson. I don't think he did too good in. Uh, in the British Open here that I saw on TV in the first hit off the first tee that went into that little creek of his and the ball seemed to run 100 yards on that hard fairway. I was watching, I tell you, I said, can't go any further. The ball kept going and going and going. It was a disaster, disastrous start, but I think he got away with it. I think a couple of hours later he got back to square. 
There's another one of uh, Gary Blair, that's his 1974, apart from the colour one, there's another one of him that I did. I met him, uh, when was it, down in, uh, just recently, so a couple of years ago he came to Australia. We had a bit of a yarn, he remembered me. He won the Ampol on a number of occasions, that was his first event that he won. And he wrote back to his wife, he said, I've got some money now. I think it was his, came over to try his fortune and proved himself as years went on as one of the great golfers. Now here, here we have the Wonder Man that, uh, that uh, Arnold Palmer, who really started uh, the professional golf in a, in a commercial way. IMG handled him and uh, they were able to promote him to the point that Jack, he was loved by as great as, as Jack Nicholas was from Arnold Palmer. So uh, there's a lot of colour work in that. I've got a couple of prints made. I've got a set of prints, as a matter of fact, 12 of them printed. And uh, the reproduction were very, very good. Here we have 